Hey everybody, what's up? Gotta adjust my chair a little bit. Chrono Trigger puts everybody in a good mood. Uh, I think that's a reference to the music that was playing, but I also happened to post a Chrono Trigger cosplay photo today, so hopefully you enjoyed that too. Hey, uh, HHH Cubed, Metal Jenny, Piano Sammy, and Strike Red Kite in the chat. Nice to see you all here. And Crystal Fear. I'll thank you, Makona, for starting our stream off with a, a sub. It was a resub for uh, 10 months in a row. So thank you so much for keeping up with me and, and hanging out with us here. And hey, William, Marceline. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get to work. <laughs> Uh, I'm basically the exact same spot I was last time. Um, I've been using my other free time to work on my flower wall, which I'm really excited about. Um, but I haven't really done a lot of R1 stuff in my own time, but that's okay. Oh, you enjoyed the Chrono Trigger cosplay? Um, yeah, those were taken at Gasworks Park here in Seattle, which is a really cool... Um, like weird, I guess it used to be some sort of oil refinery or I don't know, it was like actually working equipment at one point and now it's just like old, um, overrun with vines and it looks really, really cool. Um, kind of like steampunk aesthetic. I'm gonna grab some clips. Um, so I am clipping these two pieces of my mock-up together um, one thing that I'm going to do that might seem strange to people who have experienced, experienced sewers but haven't... Um, well, this seemed weird to me when I learned about it. Uh, but I, when I was an intern at God Save the Queen Fashions, I learned to slash... Like, okay, this is a, um, a straight, almost straight edge here that I'm trying to match up to a curved edge. This is kind of hard to show. Hopefully you can sort of see what's going on here. So these two do not have the same shape naturally. This one's curved, this one's curved, and this one's like straight. So what I'm going to do is, yeah, I can kind of move it around, but I'm going to like make little cuts into the seam allowance to allow it to bend more easily. And when I first started sewing, this is something that I would do after sewing the seam together rather than before pinning it together. And uh, Kathy at God Save the Queen taught me to do it in the reverse order and that it can have a really big effect on how nicely the pieces fit together. So uh, that's what I'm doing now in case this is confusing to anybody. Uh, HHH Cube says, love seeing the progress in the flower wall. Thank you. Uh, what costume is it for? It is for Aerith uh, Gainsboro from Final Fantasy VII. I've had that costume for a couple years, but I've never done like a studio shoot with it or anything outside of a convention, really. Um, and I wanted to get some nicer portfolio pictures of it because most of the ones I have are like, okay, but they're older and they don't really showcase uh, the costume the way that I'd like to. Hey, Yoshi Murphy, thanks for subscribing. Oh my gosh, that reminds me. We're like super close to 100 subs. Uh, I, I'm so scatterbrained, I haven't even posted about it. Uh, I believe 96 or 97, That might you might have been 97. So if we can get like three more tonight, then, then we're at 100 and that'll be awesome, um, which I think is a very achievable goal. So if you're out there wondering, also if you have a Twitch, if you have Twitch Prime um, and you're not already using your free sub for the month, everybody with Twitch Prime, if you're, uh, you can connect your accounts and automatically get um, a free sub, one sub to whatever uh, streamer you like. So if you're not using it, you should use it on me <laughs> and help me get to 100 tonight. But yes, I'm really excited about the flower wall project. Um, basically, hey, Crystal Fear, thank you for subscribing. <laughs> yes, you guys are coming through for me. Um, the flower wall is nearly at completion and any sort of donations that come from tonight's stream are all 100% going towards the flower wall because I'm really excited to get it done. Um, it's at like probably a good 85, 90% finished but I just have to get a couple more flowers to try to fill in some gaps and things like that. 
um, and then it should be really nice for photographs. But I'm gonna start doing my Aerith photo shoot there and I have one scheduled for early in May. Apelkatrox, that's a cool name. Just subscribe, thank you so much. Everybody's coming out. <laughs> hey, Belle Aim, and thank you. Says that they love how organized my studio is. Tacanto, Fal Canto, Falsky, F. I'm, that's probably a terrible pronunciation. Thank you so much for subscribing. Is that like it? Are we like at 100 now or are we at 99? I don't know. I can't count. Hey, 100 subscribers! Woo! Party time! Yes! Thank you, thank you all for being here for me and um, being a part of our community and subscribing. You guys are great. Thanks for hanging out tonight. Um, so that feels pretty cool. Uh, and yeah, other than that, I've just been working on my flower wall and arranging lots and lots of flowers and picking things up. Funny hoodie, thank you for the subscription. So now we're right over 100. That's awesome. That's that's nice and comfortable because it always you know kind of fluctuates, goes up and down. Oh, that's awesome. I love I love that I see so many of the same people coming back to hang out consistently and as streams go on. It makes me really happy to see familiar faces. Uh, I'm just gonna do the exact same thing on this other side, which is to cut little slashes on the straight side or concave side um, to match it more easily to the curved seam on the other side. So there you go. Um, I also wanna use the flower wall for uh, more like fashion or original design kind of stuff. So it wouldn't necessarily be costumey. Maybe it would be. I guess it will kind of depend on what the look is. But anything that's more, um, I don't know, just different original stuff I would love to do. And I have a couple of designs already. Um, things like I wore a costume to the Labyrinth Ball last year that was like a felted dress. It was really beautiful. I didn't actually make that one. I bought it. Um, but I have almost no photos of that costume because the headdress like melted in my uh, house flood like later that same month that I made it. Well, that sucked. Um, but many months have passed and I'm, I'm over it and I'm ready to make that uh, headdress again. So that's another one that's like sort of slated for a photo shoot that will probably end up happening with that flower wall because I think they would go together really well. But um, if you haven't seen the flower wall, you should check it out on Twitter or Instagram. I post it at both places. And you can see what I've been working on. Um, I'm really excited with how it's looking. Jared saw it kind of all together for the first time last night and he was like, this is so pretty. And I was, he was like excited about it. And I was so flattered because I didn't think he would care that much. Uh, but he kind of saw it coming together, but didn't really understand what I had in mind for it, I guess, or didn't like visualize it. Um, so when he saw it all together last night, he was telling me that he was impressed with it. So I was really happy about that. My fear was that I would work really hard on this flower wall and then people would be like, these just look like you took them in Hobby Lobby or whatever, but that's not going to happen. Oh, hey, Army of Ancients. Thank you for the resubscription. Or it was subscribed with Twitch Prime. And hi, Sakura Sunset Cosplay, who's with the hype emotes, who's here for the first time, I guess. You guys are great. Thanks for, for coming to hang out. Uh, anyway, yeah, that's what's been going on. Um, and Dry Erase Girl, thank you so much for the cheer. You guys are so supportive. I uh, added a bunch of flowers to the stream wish list um, for tonight because just every I just have so many flowers on my brain, and it just takes so long to collect them, which is why this wall is taking forever because um, I just buy a couple flowers at a time. But. Um, we're getting really close, so that's why I went ahead and updated the wish list with all flower related things. So from here on out, I'm gonna be like 100% about the flower wall until it's done. So I hope that you guys really do like it. it. Seems like people are, you know, generally interested in it. Okay. This is scraps. Oh yeah, I thought I might have forgot to do a small piece? Let me find out. Let me go check. These two
two are ready to be stitched. I kind of go in like um, rotation where I'll, where I'll cut everything and then pin or clip everything and then sew everything or do as much as possible um, in each step. So this is the back of the yoke. needs to be attached to that. Oh, wait. These are front and side front panels. So these need to be attached to the back panels actually. This is the front panel collar. And these need to have their little V shapes stitched together like a dart. Rolly Mr. Meister has to go work. Well, uh, have a great rest of your night. Um, Anna is asking for recommendations or finding good looking fake plants. All the plants I like are toxic to pets. Oh, that sucks. Um, I've been getting all of mine at Joanne, which may not be like the best resource. I have, I like, I like to see them in person because I like to know that they're nice enough looking. Um, you know, it kind of depends on, on the quality and I also am trying to balance that with not spending too much on the flowers because I need a lot for the flower wall and stuff. Um, but yeah, I've just been going to Joann's and right now is a really good time because like almost all the flowers are 50% off. Um, and that rotates, like it'll be off and on, so just keep an eye on it. But it's like really common for them to be on sale at this time of the year. So uh, yeah, I would recommend doing that. Trying to figure out how these are supposed to line up. But I do know that it starts with sewing these lines together. So I'm going to start with that. this onto the back side. And as always, we are listening to Radio Cutman tonight on the stream. It is a YouTube uh, radio station that is always going 24-7, um, playing chill, video game inspired and remixes music. last time I'm sure but I really like using these little plastic clips instead of pins because it creates less distortion in the fabric um, and makes everything go together really nicely. Thank you so much for the stone wall decal stuff. That's definitely a set project. Uh, hey, Link fan, welcome. Dry Erase Girl says that they always get lured into Joann's uh, for the sales, and yes, the same thing happens to me, although I'm just always there. Um, these are, these have like, I don't know, I'm not gonna cut, pin that together because I think I might be actually on the wrong wrong step. I need to like move my chat window because it's partially hidden which is why I'm like craning my neck to read. Come on. There we go. That's true, you can find realistic flowers online. And if you only need a couple, then you know, maybe you'd be more willing to spring for them and make sure you get some really nice ones. But I, uh, I have a very long shopping list for these. 
Oh, that's nice. Getting getting those Joanne's deals. Okay, I am gonna briefly look over this. These instructions that I like tossed aside last time because I was like, who needs these? Well, apparently I do because I need to make sure that I'm putting things together in more or less the right order. Oh, interesting. Okay, so the, yeah, these guys, I think it's stitched to each other, actually, rather than to the collar. Okay, well, I'm going to put the main part of the dress together first, because that's what it recommends. So, that's what we're going to do. Link fan got your sketchbook from Joanne's. Have you been working on that comic lately? Uh, HHH Cube says, am I planning on updating the costumes on my website? Yeah, I'm planning on it. <laughs> it just takes me a long time to catch up with things. Um, that has been on my to-do list for a while. Uh, but I haven't gotten there yet, so sorry about that. How's everyone doing today? That's a good question. I'm doing really well today, especially compared to last time. Last time was not as, as great of a day, but today has been awesome. Okay, so this is the side back, um, which means I need to connect it to the back pieces. I'm just going to set all of this aside for now. Oh, the center back was going to get stitched first. Okay, that's right. That's why this one got set aside. So change of plans. We're going to start sewing next. But you're right, um, HHH Cubed, it's, it's well past time for me to update what's on the website. And it has been on my mind, it just hasn't been on my schedule. Today's a good, good day for you, Bunny Hoodie, I'm glad to hear that. It's been a really productive day for me too. Let me get plugged in here. My um, sewing machine back there is still broken because I don't know why my stuff just doesn't work. Um, so I'm still looking for a solution for that. But in the meantime, I've got my other little trusty brother machine right here. And it's even easier for you guys to watch what I'm doing. So at least there's that. Basting. These are stitches that I'm going to end up taking out later. I'm making a slightly longer stitch length than I would normally use. Let me grab my sewing machine foot. all over the place like normal. <laughs> well that's cool. Uh, Link fans gotten through the script in your ch first chapter. Well that's in progress. Getting started is always the hard part. Um, up in the corner in the other camera area I have um, that is the, the copy of the pattern that I'm using. This one is just like a really generic costume pattern that I've had for a couple years actually. Wait, no. No, that's not true. I bought it for this. Um, but I know that it's like probably been out since the movies were popular or whatever. Oh, 
right, here we go. I guess I can move this closer, technically. I'll sit slightly closer. That will make me only partly out of frame. Army of Ancients is asking what Starbucks drink did I get? I got um, a green tea latte. They are really, really good, and I, I don't know, I like green drinks for some reason. Hey Largo, welcome. a good stream goal is to just try to get the mock-up like all in one piece. Uh, we'll see how realistic that is. But we'll start by doing these long scenes and that'll be most of the dress at that point. Uh, my pieces are all cut so I mean technically that's not too much for one evening of work. lattes are wonderful. They're like my favorite drink. I finally found um, a matcha powder mix that I actually like that I can just make at home, um, but I still really enjoy the Starbucks when I get a chance to treat myself. Marceline, I'm glad that you made it here with us. It's been a rough week for me too, but um, I'm feeling really great today for some reason. I think it's just because I'm seeing progress in my projects and um, that feels great. So, I don't know. It's really hard to work on stuff if you're feeling down, but at the same time, it can be one of the most rewarding things if you can bring yourself to do it. And I know that there are days when you just can't, and I'm not saying that you need to always work through your depression, but if you can manage to, it can be a tool for managing your depression too. At least for me, I mean, everybody's different, but um, a lot of the time if I'm feeling down, uh, I don't feel like working, but if I can bring myself to do even a little bit anyway, and then look at the thing that I did, um, it can be really encouraging to think like, oh, I, I am good at this, or I am making progress and improving, even if it's just a little bit at a time. Bunny Hoodie says one of their bucket list goals is to learn how to make uh, well-made cute plushies. Um, so step up their sewing machine game. That's a really cool goal. I've never made a plushie, I don't think. Oh no, getting trapped inside during the blizzard doesn't sound fun either. Um, I mean, sometimes, yeah, Link Fan is saying that he felt like he was writing his script better when he was feeling down. I don't know what it is, but some people, I don't know, I could, maybe you feel like more in touch with your emotions or something. I'm sure it's different, but whatever whatever gets you working, whatever, you know, also hopefully helps lift your spirits, is a good use of your time. Yeah, working on the flower wall is also just like, that's what I was doing pretty much to lift my spirits. Because last weekend when I was dreaming, I was 
having a really rough time, um, and then I basically spent the last few days working on flowers instead of uh, working on this dress, which is why I haven't made any progress. But I'm in a much better mood because my house is filled with beautiful flowers right now. And that feels great. And plus I'm making progress on a project that I'm excited about, which also feels great. Foxtus is knitting whenever their anxiety and depression flares up so far this year, but two sweaters. You know what? That's nice because, you know, anxiety and depression are horrible to live with. Um, I suffer from that as well, but when you're being productive with that time, hopefully it helps to like put you in a better mindset, you know, something to kind of focus on and meditate that's not whatever, um, you know, makes you feel anxious. Uh, and then you can look back and say, well, I, I created these beautiful things um, instead of just being sad and doing nothing. And that's why I cosplay. <laughs> that's not entirely true. I cosplay because I love making things, um, but I find that it's really therapeutic for me in times when I'm not feeling well to make things. I highly encourage everyone always to make things, whatever kind of thing you're into. You know, make food or photographs or make flowers grow. Uh, make whatever you want, but I think it's, it's good for the soul. That's my theory anyway. Hi Shiro Shift, welcome. Oh man, working at a, at a flower nursery sounds like a really cool job. I'm sure that would be a, a more relaxing environment than most retail spaces or whatever it is. It's pretty awesome. All right, back to sewing. I'm just like reading all the chat. You guys are distracting me, but in a good way. It also keeps me going and not just getting distracted and looking at Twitter on my phone. let it go at the end. All right, there we go. There's our first, oh no, I guess that was the second scene. One more. Did I have pinned already, I believe? I saw I was working on Rathalos armor, and that sounds fun. I don't do very many armor projects. I'm way more into sewing, but I should challenge myself one of these days to do a big armor. That would be cool. Still talking about greenhouse jobs. Uh, Kanto. Yeah. says that they're a lizard who loves heat. I kind of feel the same way, or I love sunlight. I love cool temperatures, but sunlight. I need to be in direct sunlight, <laughs> and then I'm fine. 
I felt that way going to some conventions up here um, for the first time this year. I went to Emerald City Comic Con as well as Sakura Con. They're both in Seattle. Um, so they're local for me, but it was my first year there because it's my first year here. And I was wearing the same costumes that I made to wear like in Texas where I was, and, and then later California where I was, it was really hot all the time. And I just discovered that I need to have like a totally separate cosplay wardrobe for cold weather <laughs> because it's horrible. Oh, Link fan is also a ginger? Well, awesome. I'm, I'm a ginger too, obviously. So gingers unite. You're right, okay. So I don't like being in sun long enough to burn, but I do like the warmth of the sun. I like the sunlight. I like to view the sunlight from inside my home as it streams in through the window and lights my beautiful indoor workspace. That's the kind of sunlight I like. And it's nice for photography too. There's a lot of Wisconsinites in this chat. That's awesome. Jared's from Wisconsin. So I have a special place in my heart for Wisconsin. For giving me my boo. It's starting to get really nice here. Um, it still rains frequently and it can be kind of unpredictable whether it's cloudy, um, but when the sun comes out, it's just insanely gorgeous. And as it gets like, as spring goes on and then I guess summer arrives, um, it starts to be a lot more consistently beautiful outside with lots of sunlight and stuff. So that's what I'm really looking forward to as far as going to um, lots of, <laughs> oh, hey there, Tiny Bear. Um, going to do lots of uh, location shoots, is what I was trying to say. Zelda Guru says, my hair looks hella cute. Well, thank you so much. I'm glad that you think so. I need to get it cut because it's really shaggy, but I don't want to like change the style, really. I just want to trim it up a little bit. Holy crap, you can get a second degree sunburn? I didn't even know that. Uh, yeah, that sounds really intense. When I lived in Texas, I avoided the sun as much as possible because it was way too intense. But here, it's like cold all the time and rainy and overcast a lot of the time. And so, I have a new appreciation for the sun. Like, my physician um, recommended that Jared and I start taking vitamin D supplements. And according to her, um, like the entire population of the Pacific Northwest suffers from vitamin D uh, deficiency, which is basically like, um, uh, has to do with sunlight. Allow, I'm sorry, I'm gonna allow your comment there. Um, so yeah, I have a renewed appreciation for sunlight and apparently up here in Seattle, we're all just constantly suffering because there's not enough sun. And when the sun actually does does come out, it's like a com conversation topic. Like you go to the store and the cashier's like, wow, the sun's out today, did you see it? And it's kind of funny, but it's awesome. And I really love the weather here. And I think it'll be perfect for shooting Arwen because um, once we get nice lighting and temperatures outside, the like greenery and the nature's nature and waterfalls and stuff that you can find around here are super gorgeous. So I'm really looking forward to that. All right, and I've reached the end of another scene, and that's everything I have pinned. I think it's ready to start putting some more of these panels together. Crystal Fear just went and got a mocha latte. Good for you, Crystal. Oh no, snowstorms. Yeah, I've been seeing a lot of that where like 
a lot of my friends that live in the Midwest or farther north in Canada has just been like completely overwhelmed with snowstorms like well into what should be spring. Oh, that's right, there were a ton of really bad forest fires last year. Hopefully we can avoid that this year. I spilled a drop of my matcha latte. Not very much, just one drop. Mmm, green beverage. That's right, this is actually super good. Um, it's like kind of faintly sweet. Thank you, India, Indy Hannah Jones, for resubscribing, or subscribing with Twitch Prime. Link fan is asking what cons I'm looking for this year, forward to. Um, my next one is Fanime in California, which is a really fun one. Uh, Fanime, I don't have any big plans besides to just hang out with my friends. Um, so that's always fun when that can be my like main priority. And hi Tian, welcome. Um, so that one's next, and then after that I'm going to Akon in Texas, which I'm also super looking forward to because I'm from Texas and I lived there for many years and I have many friends there that I don't get to see very often. So, um, yeah, that's uh, exciting. Okay. These are the two front seams. So those need to um, hang out for a bit. The front is going to be where it opens. So I'm just going to set those aside for now. Drape it over my chair. And this is the two back panels that are now sewn together up the back. This dress, the way the pattern was designed, um, it's supposed to be uh, opening in the back, but I changed it. I cut the front open and I sewed the back together instead. Megacon and DragonCon. Oh my gosh, we go to DragonCon too, so maybe I'll see you there. That'll be fun. Uh, Rowdy Roddy is asking if I've ever made cookies with matcha. No, I haven't, but that sounds really, really good. Filled with raspberry jam, that sounds extra good. I have made um, matcha bread before, which was for a cosplay. It was for my Rey cosplay. Um, she eats that green bread in Star Wars, and I looked it up and it's made with matcha. That's like what gives it the color, and it tastes like matcha. Um, they released the recipe online and so I just recreated it and made it in like a little cup or something. Or no, I just... You, you make it in the microwave, literally. Like you mix up a couple of ingredients and you just put it on like a paper plate and microwave it for 30 seconds and then it gives you like that weird little green cake that Ray eats in Star Wars. Um, and that was actually like surprisingly pretty good. It was very plain tasting because it wasn't... Like, they didn't come up with a recipe for taste. They definitely came up with it, like, to make things really easy in the movie. Um, but it was still pretty good because I like matcha flavored anything. Okay, let me, I know I've missed a lot of stuff here in the chat. Let me go back up a little bit. Oh man, I'm sad Tivon is gone too. They have really good, really good stuff. The first month of a Prime sub is free? That's awesome. It says Tiny Bear. I thought you could just get one free one per month, so you could potentially reapply that. I could be wrong, I don't know. Um, Anna's going to ASIN. I hear that's a really good one to go to. Anime Iowa is a good one. I'll keep that in mind. <sighs> yeah. Oh, I have not had the matcha. Wait, no, I have had matcha Kit Kats. It's just been a really long time. Those are super good. And I also like the green tea, like, cakes that you can get at anime convention dealer halls for the most part. Um, I'm sure you can get them at, like, Asian grocery stores and things like that, too. But um, they're like little Swiss rolls and they have matcha in them and so they're like green cakes that are green tea flavored and they're super delicious.
I will do that. I would love to go to more conventions in the Midwest. All right, I'm gonna, once again, this is a concave seam where it's a curve here. And so I'm gonna clip it um, before pinning it to anything. So it's gonna make it easier to deal with. bunny hoodie would go. That's nice. Um, yeah, I would love to just see more of the country. I also like going to small conventions in different places um, to kind of get like a taste of what the convention scene is like in different states and what kind of cosplays people make. Um, when you go to the biggest cons, it tends to attract people from all over the country that are there like showing their A-game with like the most elaborate costumes. And that's fun, and I like to participate in that, you know, some to some extent, um, like certain cons, like Dragon Con and, and Katsukon and stuff. But at the same time, like, it's really charming just to go to like, little, like, somewhat small town conventions. I mean, not like, I don't know. Sometimes I've, I've been to tiny cons, but like mid-sized cons um, or smaller-ish cons. Um, can be really, really charming too. Okay, so this goes on here, flipping it here, and pinning it here. Oh, uh, Tian is asking about the music, or did ask. This is Radio Cutman on YouTube. It's a continuous stream. Um, it's a radio station by DJ Cutman as well as a few other DJs that are associated on the same label, I believe. Um, and so it's a 24-hour stream that just goes on and on. And if you are a streamer, you can use all of the music royalty-free. So uh, no sort of penalties uh, in your archive videos or anything like that. <laughs> Army of Ancients says my favorite part of this radio station or when I f when I spend two minutes figuring out which song they're remixing yeah um, sometimes it's just like the Wii menu Wii U menu music which is uh, surprisingly interesting to listen to uh, Dragsaw is asking what are the odds that Jared and I would go to PAX Australia we would probably have to be invited to go all the way down there um, just because it's so far, but we would love to go to um, Australia at some point eventually. Shiro Shift asked a little while ago why I was cutting. Does it help it fit together? Yeah, it, it um, makes it easier to attach um, two seams or two pieces of fabric that have different curves. DaishoCon is a good Wisconsin con. Oh, that sounds awesome. And it's another Kalahari con. I know that uh, Colossal Con is like super famous for being at that particular location. I didn't know that there were multiple conventions there. Is that the same place or am I mixing up two different locations? And yes, I still really want to come back to Kitsune Con. I do, I do. Mason asking, how was my day? My day was great. I was super productive. Um, getting work done, getting stuff figured out, getting plans made. Checking messages and we're on track. Is there cosplay? Uh, Cosplay and Photography Expo in New England. That sounds awesome. Oh, these are like still connected. Oops. Yeah, I'm starting to focus more on photography or the photography aspect of cosplaying and 
that's why I've been working on, you know, building sets with flower walls and stuff. Um, it's because of cosplay and just wanting to do more interesting things with photos and also being limited indoors for so much of the year. It's like I want to slowly build up um, a collection of stuff that I can use to shoot here without having to go anywhere. It's a second location of Wisconsin Dells before Thanksgiving. Okay, so it is a different place, but it's the same type of resort. That's pretty cool. I've heard of that one for sure. I just didn't know that much about it, so good to know. Con Alt Delete, that's a cute name. I'm gonna stand for a little bit to try to get Oh yeah, this cool necklace that I'm wearing, I bought it at a convention. I got it at Sakura Khan. Um, I'm not promoting it or anything, and I forget what the name of the person is that sold it. I could find it if someone needs it. But I just wanted to point it out because I just love buying like different um, random or interesting jewelry designs at conventions especially because you can buy directly from small businesses and artists. Um, that are creating something like just buy directly from the source instead of generic online uh, or mass-produced stuff. So anyway, I don't. I have. This is like only the second time I've worn it, and I'm really happy about it. So I just had to show it off. It like looks like an eye, but it's a jewel. It's kind of fun. Uh, it's made out of um, clay get closer to it actually so it's polymer clay and it's like mixed together to have different colors and it looks like an eye but it looks like a magical eye of some kind monster eye um stray threads welcome back i'm glad to be somebody to keep you company during what you're reading do i ever drink blue moon beer uh, yeah, I like Blue Moon. Um, it's really good with like orange slices. That's often how it's served sometimes in restaurants. But yeah, Blue Moon's pretty good. Um, I like a lot of different types of beers. But, and a lot of the time I prefer more like dark beers, but I will drink and enjoy a number of different types of beers. You've seen those, like the necklace? <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't know about that. Um, yeah, I just saw it and thought it was really interesting looking, so I got it. Spiritual Stone from Ocarina of Time. I can sort of see that. It has like a little bit of that aesthetic. Um, I know that those are available as necklaces, and honestly, I should get them. <laughs> Oh, hello, Tiffy and Bouncy Creeper. Welcome, both of you guys. Uh, I'm working on a mock-up for Arwen. It is this over here, um, this version, although it's a, um, these, this is like a knockoff of Arwen's dress. So what I'm working on right now are the pattern pieces from this pattern, but I'm going to turn it into a more authentic looking um, Arwen costume, so. Uh, my final product will be Arwen from Lord of the Rings, but this is um, what I'm using sort of as a jumping, jumping off point for creating that dress. Oh, chainmail jewelry is awesome too. I've never actually made chainmail, but um, a number of my friends have, and I'm always impressed when I see it. Have you seen how they did the mail for the Lord of the Rings movies? I haven't seen that. I would love to hear about that if you know something cool about it.
I'm trying to get more of my friends to cosplay uh, Lord of the Rings with me. Which reminds me I have more people to invite to Lord of the Rings cosplay. Um, I'm planning to wear this costume to Fanime and Akon. Probably both places, unless I just die of heat stroke. Uh, so open invitation to anybody who might be attending either one of those conventions. If you want to cosplay a Tolkien character with me, I will be there as Arwen. And I'm always down to cosplay with anybody. So, um, if you're going to those cons and you'd like to cosplay, you can cosplay with me. <laughs> Bouncy Creeper says, so what happens if you make a costume that actually looks better than the original Arwen outfit? I don't think that will happen, but, uh, you know, that's, I guess that's the dream. <laughs> um, I'm not going to use real suede for this. Uh, the dress that I'm trying to recreate, oh, I'm sorry, um, Army of Ancients, let me, uh, permit you. There you go, now you can post links for one minute. <laughs> How far did I cut? Looks like a half inch. Um, slightly less than a half inch. You're right, it's about a half inch, um, but just barely um, less than a half inch because a half inch is the amount of seam allowance that I use. So that is... Okay, so this is a, um, a chain mail video. I'm gonna watch the video later, but I have it open another tab. Thank you, Army of Ancients, for sharing that. Um, that will be helpful. I have a couple different Lord of the Rings costumes that I want to do. This is the first one. Anna says, I used to want to be a beautiful elf lady, but these days I'd rather be Eowyn in armor and swinging a sword, lol. I identify with both of those desires. Um, one of the reasons why I picked this outfit over the other outfits that Arwen wears is because this is the one that she uses, or that she's wearing when she's like, swinging a sword and riding a horse um, when she goes to help Frodo and take him back to Rivendell. This is from that scene in Fellowship of the Ring. So that's the version of the costume that I'm making. And I agree, I want to be like a, a graceful, elegant lady, but I also just like want to be a badass at the same time. And so I feel like all of my costumes are me exploring one of those two desires, sometimes both. Oh, that's cool. I love to hear all about the chain mail you guys are chatting about. We can make, we can get the rings to make a super lightweight chain mail. Yeah, Arwen has a lot of really beautiful outfits, but this one is the one I'm starting with. I would also love to do uh, Galadriel. She's another favorite but Arwen was more at the top of the list. I like seeing that sword, man. Um, Bouncy Creeper is asking, does Ares puff his tail up when he's scared? Uh, kind of, yeah, he definitely gets puffier when he's scared. It's kind of cute, but also sad. But he's scared all the time, so it's like kind of funny and like harder to take seriously. He's never in danger, he's just always scared of stupid things. I would be 
scared of a giant horse too, but yeah. Um, I've been looking at a lot of photos from that river chase scene because I'm making the costume from it. And it's definitely a beautiful horse. Sorry if my fabric is like in the way. I'm seeing what's going on here. Yoshi Murphy is making a chainmail dragon. I would love to see that. You should like tweet me a picture, or if you have a picture that you want to share a link to in the chat, I can give you permission. Um, I'll have to permit it, but if you want to do that, I would love to see what you're working on. to get all these dress panels together and then hopefully by the end of the stream I have a hair in my mouth uh, have something that I can like put on and show you at least on top of my clothes or whatever but it will go on my body that would be pretty exciting Yoshi will save a picture for the next stream okay that sounds good and I'm interested to see your progress or you can just like tweet it at me if you're on Twitter, like sometime down the line, whenever you're ready. I'd love to see it. Dry Erase Girl said that they have a cousin who saved up the soda tabs from beer cans and made a full suit of armor for a Renaissance festival. That sounds amazing, honestly. That sounds like a really funny idea. Link fan is asking, what's everybody's favorite fantasy series? Like, favorite ever, ever? I think I still have to go with Legend of Zelda, which no one here is surprised. I don't know, I want to see what other people, what answers. Wheel of Time, someone says, that's a good one. I've never read those books, but I've had a lot of friends that are big fans. So I'm, I'm sure that it's a super high quality fantasy story, but I've never been invested myself. Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, Zelda. Lots of Zeldas here. <laughs> Link fans like, I bet no one can guess mine. Mm, is it Zelda? <laughs> oh, hey, Alpaca Ash, welcome to our stream tonight. Nice to see you around. I hope you're settling into your new home in Texas. We miss you up here. Narnia, that's a good one too. I was really into that when I was in, when I was a kid. I watched all the like BBC movies that were really cheesy. I want to watch those again. I have them on D DVD actually. Over the years, I've like only saved a small collection of DVDs, but I still have those because they're just. They're not well made, but they're just wonderfully nostalgic. 
The Redwall books, uh, Anna says, that's a really good answer too. I was super into Redwall as a kid. I read most of the books, um, because there were a lot in the end, but I read most of the main series before they just started getting really weird. Final Fantasy, that's a good answer too. I'm surprised there weren't more Final Fantasies in the responses, but I'm also a big Final Fantasy fan. I would love to cosplay from that this year. Are you working your way through the Narnia books right now, Ashley? That sounds awesome. I read, I think I read all of them. I believe I read all of them. Um, I remember doing like book reports over some of the like less well read or less, less well known books because like Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe is the one that like most people are familiar with or like more people than any of the other books. But um, The Last Battle, is that the name of the last one? I really, really liked that book. Also, the silver chair. I want to cosplay as the snake lady from the silver chair. I do. <laughs> I mean, every uh, iteration of Jadis is pretty cool. She's the white witch, and she's also many other witches throughout time. Um, but the snake form of Jadis is one of my favorites, which is creepy. There's a lot of good answers here. Everyone's talking about the best fantasy series. Snake lady. Yeah, she's awesome. She's scary and like, you know, evil, but she's awesome. <laughs> Bravely Games, those are awesome. I'd love to cosplay from that too. I want, I think I'm gonna cosplay from Final Fantasy IX. Do a, a Garnet cosplay, or a Dagger cosplay, something like that. I don't know, I feel like I should work with my way through most of the Final Fantasies. Oh, another costume that I want to shoot with my flower wall is uh, Rydia from Final Fantasy III, the DS remake version. Um, I've had that costume, that's like one of my earliest costumes, and I was going through all of my old costume folders and thinking like, okay, what, what, what can I still wear, at least just for photos? that I didn't have a lot of good photos of, and that's one that I really want to get out, again, just for a photo shoot, probably. But if I found a group, um, then I would wear that costume. Rydia? Yeah, I feel like there's- I should just work my way through all of this. <laughs> I would cosplay Rydia or Rosa. I like their designs a lot, both of them. Um, I haven't played Final Fantasy V. I did cosplay from Final Fantasy VII. I still need to cosplay from Final Fantasy VI. Um, I really want to cosplay Terra. Terra's been on my list for forever, but another one of my friends cosplayed Terra this year, which is fine, there can be multiple, but it made me think, what if I cosplayed as Celeste instead? So, I don't know. I feel like I could do both of those girls too, but I don't know which one I would do first. So even though Tara is still on my list of things I want to happen in the future, I'm also like now more tempted to do Celeste so that I can be in a group with those other friends. Have I seen Over the Garden Wall, asks Bouncy Creeper. Yes, I have, and I love it. 
Yes, that's a, it's a recommendation that I also highly agree with. So, Bouncy Creeper in the chat is recommending Over the Garden Wall, and I also second that recommendation. It's a good one to watch. It's You can watch it all in one evening. It's like the equivalent of like a movie length, pretty much, if you watch all the episodes back to back. the Hey Listen remix. I'm sewing too slowly. I should be pressing this pedal like I mean it. cosplay some really obscure RPGs too and part of me is like uh oh, no one will notice or know who that is and care but then the other part of me is like no I'll make them care because <laughs> I'll be so excited about it that they'll be like okay I guess I guess we should like you know pretend like we're interested <laughs> I don't know if that would really work that's my uh my hope <laughs> I don't know how realistic that is This is one of my favorite songs on this list too. What is this? Uh, DJ Grumble, maybe? It is DJ Grumble. Grumble's in the Lab is the name of this song. I really like it. <laughs> Piano Sammy said they put their ring, the texting ringtone to Navi saying, hey, listen, and then now consistently has their phone on vibrate because it's so annoying. That's funny. Okay. Setting that guy aside again. We should now have all of the back and all of the front together. This is all of the back. And then the front is actually in two pieces because it splits down the front. So yay! We are on track. Uh, this is the center front. So lining up the sides. And we'll stitch that together next. That's the verb for, for putting two pieces of fabric together, even though I'm not actually using pins. I'm using these little clips, but I've just been, it's been so ingrained in me that you pin fabric together. Here's my clips, my tiny clips. That now I just say that phrase, even when I'm not literally pinning anything. I'm just clipping things. finally have a somewhat more uh, simple setup for sewing and that you guys can see me. Oh hey, Dragon Kitty Warrior donated five dollars. Thank you so much. That's going straight toward the flower wall. <laughs> Is there a, a note attached to that? No, no. Well, thank you very much, Dragon Kitty Warrior. I appreciate it. 
yeah, all of my, any sort of donations that come in tonight are probably for the next several streams. It's all for the flower wall. And I'm very excited to be wrapping that project up soon. Pin those clips. That's right. That's what I'm up to. you guys can see a little bit more of what I'm doing now as I stream because I used to not really sew very much on stream just because it was so difficult to like show what I was doing hopefully this works a little bit better um, than what previous setups I've had uh, even if you can't always see every detail I think for most people it's probably enough because you either already know what's going on or you probably don't care that much and either is fine with me as long as we're all having out and hanging out and having a good time. I always think it's really cool when people who aren't necessarily into cosplay or crafting still want to come to these streams and hang out uh, with the rest of our community um, because everyone is welcome here and you know, I just want to make friends who, you know, are somewhat interested in whatever's happening or just like to have the background noise maybe, but. Hey, Divine donated $10. Thank you so much. Uh, saying, I'm not a cosplayer myself, but I wanted to tell you that I really love your work and your authenticity. Keep going. You're awesome. Thank you so much, Divine52. I really appreciate that. Having a good time sounds overrated to you, LinkedIn. I'm always having a good time on these streams. I hope you are too. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. You keep me motivated. All right, we're almost done clipping these last two long seams. And then we'll have most of the dress together. Mala Ninja is using this as, back as background noise while they're working on drawing in Clip Studio Paint. That sounds fun. Sure, Shift, I'm glad that you enjoy watching sewing streams. Rowdy says, as an outsider, it's better, it's interesting to see the techniques. Well, I'm glad that you think so. I like to do like a variety of different stuff. Um, so it's not always the same thing. Like sometimes I'm sewing, sometimes I'm sculpting or the last couple of weeks I did a little bit of casting and sculpting. And that was really fun. Okay, here I am again, I'm back. And now it's time to sew these. Oh. Before I do that, I'm gonna also clip together really quickly the shoulder straps at the top. <laughs> Link fan says that he's always trying to draw while I'm streaming, but then he ends up enjoying the chat too much. Sorry for leading you astray. I'm like trying to encourage everyone to like do artwork and be creative with their time, but then I end up just taking you away from it. Shiro shift with the cute emojis. Jared told me that I need to go ahead and um, apply for a partnership, which I've never done before, but he says that it should be time for me. I don't know if that's true or not, but I'm going to try to do that. And if it goes through, then we'll get some more emotes, and that would be fun. So we'll see about that. I'm 
glad that you... Yeah, it's true. Everyone in this chat is so friendly. There's... It's like so rare that there's any sort of disruptions or like people being annoying or something like that. Or trolls. It's really rare for us to get trolls. <laughs> I love it. I'm really glad that everyone here is so respectful and kind. It's very refreshing from the... So much of the internet is so toxic, but we never seem to have that problem here and that's wonderful. Crystal Fear is also working on crafts. That's awesome. Hi, Lady Blackheart. All right. I'm gonna try to speed this up a little bit. We'll see. At least while I'm stitching, I'll try to pay more attention to my stitching. And I'll catch up with the chat comments here in a few minutes. Tiny Bear, I'm glad that we can be some provide some company when you're down. I kind of feel the same way. Although I think my streams are better when I'm in a good mood. Which luckily includes tonight. I'm in a great mood. Dragsaw is asking for writing advice there in the chat. If anybody has some um, uh, advice to throw their way? Working on a D&D campaign, I guess. I don't know that I have any advice necessarily. I never DM'd a campaign, but I just like seeing people talk about interesting creative things in the chat, so. so much fabric bunched up over here, but hey, that's good because that means the dress is coming together. An apprehensive necromancer? Interesting prompt. Writing advice. Don't be afraid to get weird with it. I like that advice. It's good. <laughs> All right, I'm about to stitch the last long seam, which is one of the side seams, and then do the tops of the shoulders, and then I should be able to at least put it on, like, drape it over me. Uh, even if it doesn't have sleeves yet. Hey, you men. Uh, my Instagram and all my social media is listed in the um, text box below. Um, so that'll have links to all my social media accounts and stuff. Um, sorry that I don't have those commands set up in the chat. I've been up for one hour and 23 minutes, not bad. We've got most of this dress together in that time. And I didn't have anything sewn when we started. I just had a few things pinned. So that's good. I 
robots, computers, and anime. Three things I love. like a big balloon over here. Time flies when you're having fun. You know, normally I don't think of sewing as being fun. Like, I mean, I enjoy it, or I, I enjoy the results of doing it, and I enjoy the act just to, to the extent that I find it, you know, satisfying to make something. But I don't necessarily, like, love sitting here feeding fabric through the machine. Like, that's, you know, it's fine. It's okay. It's part of the job. Um, but you're right, it is fun when you're seeing your work come together and feeling good about it. one of the reasons why I find crafting therapeutic um, for like addressing anxiety and depression is because when you're really depressed you don't feel like doing anything but then even accomplishing like really small things can help you feel a little bit better about your life I don't know at least that works for me I know that it's not applicable for every person in every situation but just like accomplishing small things and like taking steps to see yourself like doing stuff and getting stuff done is I, one of the most um, therapeutic things for me personally. Uh, so art is a really great way to do that because it's a, a task that you're accomplishing but it's still very free form and there's not a lot of rules to what you can and can't do. Um, there's not a lot of rules about for what you are allowed to do or not. You can kind of just like do what you want. Um, and so nobody's forcing you. It's entirely, well, I mean, I'm speaking generally, but I think in most situations we make art because we want to, unless you just are a professional artist. Um, in which case I certainly hope that you want to make art, but it's also a job. Anyway, I'm rambling, but it always makes me feel better to feel accomplished in my work. That was it. That was our last long seam. Now I have to stitch the tops of the shoulders. So here we are. We've got most of a dress together. Pending shoulder seams. Bouncy Creeper is asking, do, does Breath of the Wild count as a Zelda game to me, in my opinion? Yeah, I think so. It might have a, like a slightly different style of gameplay, but I feel like the core elements are all there. It, it still feels like Zelda to me, even though it's like introducing us to a lot of new things that Zelda can also be. Um, so I'm, I'm very much like pro experimentation. Um, I don't feel like it has to stick to a particular like traditional structure to like count. Um, but that's just me anyway. I enjoy it for what it is and I really enjoy it. That's one of my favorite things of all time. And it's really good. Bunny hoodie heading out for the night. Thanks for coming by and chilling with us and chatting with us tonight. Vontography says, non, not popular opinion, Breath of the Wild is the only Zelda game I've ever loved. Yeah, I can't relate, but it is a very good game and worth your love. <laughs> Did I miss anything up here? Mallow Ninja was saying that it's not, sewing is difficult for them because it gives them anxiety. Well, yeah, I mean, everybody has their own preferred art form, so I definitely recommend doing something that doesn't make you feel anxious, but... Also, the more you do something, maybe the less anxious you feel about it.
Zelda was originally open world, it's just when the N64 came out due to hardware limitations, and you're now doing what they always wanted. Yeah, Zelda Master 69. <laughs> nice. Nice. Alright. One last shoulder to stitch. Yeah, Ocarina of Time was my fave before Breath of the Wild came out, because that was the first one that I played as a kid. That was what was my introduction to Zelda. I should cosplay that, something from that game. I think I cosplayed Sheik before I cosplayed like the regular Zelda, but that would be a good cosplay. I'm at least gonna throw this on for now. We'll see if it like mostly fits. Yeah, this is a good start. So I need to like, that actually fits really well in the waist. I need to make some adjustments naturally. The shoulder area is a bit baggy and like, just changing the overall shape. Oh, hey, Dragon Kitty Warrior, thanks for cheering as well. Appreciate that. So this has some adjustments to be made in terms of the shape and the details, but it is starting to be there. It is the right general size, which is really good. That's what we want. Um, and this is, again, just a mock-up, so there's still a lot of room to make changes in this, and that's what it's for. Um, it's definitely a good sign that it's the right general size for me. Uh, I'll just have to put on the proper undergarments and do all of my fit adjustments as we go. Um, so yay, we've got most of a dress together. That's cool. I don't even have a mannequin in here. Okay, well that's fine. I'm just gonna drape it over here. For the time being, and let it hang out while I grab my other fabric. It's pretty exciting and satisfying to see it come together. When we started, all I had was a couple of chunks of fabric, and soon I will have a dress. Or a dress mock up, you know, whatever. Which character I'm making right now? Uh, this is Arwen from Lord of the Rings. Yay, thank you for the celebratory bits, Drag Saw. Appreciate that. Hey, Freddy, thank you. <laughs> yeah, making a mock up is generally a good idea. Um, because it allows you to do all of your problem solving and your fit adjustments before you get into your more expensive fabric. Have I ever cosplayed from Warcraft? Asks Divine52. No, I haven't, unfortunately. I never I never played Warcraft, so that's not really like my style, I guess, but I really admire the costumes. There's a lot of really amazing Warcraft cosplayers out there. I've got like cat hair on my mouth. That's <laughs> hazards of living with Aries is that I'm just constantly covered in cat hair. I'm sorry that you're dealing with illness, bouncy creeper. I hope that even if you don't have, even if that keeps you from being super productive, I hope there's still some things you can do with your time. Um, to make art or whatever you are into. All right. I think I'm gonna consult the instructions again. Who needs these, right? Oh good, here's the... So 
So basically, it wants you to sew the top of the sleeve and the bottom of the sleeve together separately. And then you kind of ease them together. All right, I can do that. Um, got a couple of questions in here. Uh, Zelda Master is asking, which is my, which is your favorite costume I've made so far? Uh, gotta be Twilight Princess Zelda. I wear that one more than anything, probably. Um, even though it's a bitch to put on, it's su super worth it. I always enjoy wearing that one. <laughs> Mallow Ninja gets made fun of for shedding like a cat. <laughs> That's funny. Vontography is asking, has there ever been a cosplay you want to do but choose not to because the character series or series was too obscure slash old slash unpopular. Yes, a number of things. Um, I'm a huge fan of this game series, Suikoden, and it's very obscure, and the games are no longer being made. So it's like this niche thing that I was super into, that there's there's like a, a small dedicated fandom of people who just like love this game series. And we're all friends with each other because it's obscure and nobody else cares about it. <laughs> um, so that one for sure is... Um, I have cosplayed... I've done a number of cosplays from that series, but the reason I haven't done more is because it's so obscure. Um, so that's just one of those things where it's like... I think that going forward, I'm gonna keep trading off between things that are like well known enough for people to be interested in it versus things that I'm interested in, and and to do both because I want to do both, um, and that doesn't mean that I have to always cater to what people want to see me wearing, but I do like to wear things that people, you know, have any idea what that is, and generally photographers prefer to shoot costumes that they recognize, so. Uh, there's a lot of factors, but I wanted to I want to have a lot of variety in the things that I cosplay. Link fan got a copy of Sweet Cutting 2 for a friend for Christmas. That's a good gift. Um, but yeah, you should play it if you ever have the chance. You can download it. It's on the PlayStation Network. It's, so I think it's a cheap download. I don't know what the virtual console prices are or if that's what that's called. That might be just the Nintendo. But anyway, it's available. It's out there. Do more obscure shit. <laughs> I might. I might. I have, um... Like, the oldest entries on my cosplay wish list, I guess, are all really old stuff. Like, I want to cosplay Ellie from Xeno Gears. Uh, someone was asking me about that like a, one or two streams ago, just saying like, have you ever thought about cosplaying her? And I was like, boy, have I. Um, who else? Aisha from E7 has been on my cosplay list for just ever. But yeah, I've got a, a, long, a long list of possibilities that are mostly from older JRPGs. Oh, Dry Erase Girl just told a really cute story saying that her kids are reading the Twilight Princess series in Ocarina of Time and they freaked out when they saw me on Instagram. That's amazing. Asking, is that Zelda? <laughs> and then she explained what cosplay was and looked at the photos and spent the whole day, the kids spent the whole day pretending to be their favorite characters from books and movies. That is awesome. That is like a gateway to cosplay. It sounds like you've got some potential cosplayers in your household. That is so adorable. Thank you for sharing that with me. <laughs> Mallow Ninja is asking, if I ever chose to cosplay a, duel, a dude, who do you think I'd try to cosplay? <laughs> Bonus points and answer that isn't some form of like, that was gonna be my answer. <laughs> so I guess I don't get any bonus points. Um, if I had to cosplay a dude that's not Link, let me think about that for a minute. Tiny Bear was saying, I feel a thrill when I think of cosplaying from an obscure series because if anyone knows you, it's like an instant connection and so much fun. That is true. I have done a couple of really obscure cosplays and I've been to conventions where like 
one person the whole weekend recognized me, but that person was really excited because they were like, holy shit, I can't believe that there's a Merlot's cosplay from Vagrant Story here at this convention. Uh, and that's what it was. Um, that's what I was dressed as. I want to reshoot that costume for sure, but it's really difficult to wear. That's one of my only like full sets of armor. I should do a Sailor Moon cosplay for Jared. I thought about it. <laughs> Montography says most of his favorites are older. It makes him sad because most cosplayers are wee babies. That's true. Um, I feel like the things that I now consider as being like too obscure that people wouldn't get it if I cosplayed are things that were more popular a couple years ago when I started getting into cosplay. And I didn't cosplay it then and now I'm like, oh, this thing's too old now, but realistically, I'm still just gonna cosplay the thing that I wanna cosplay at the end of the day. So sometimes they will be obscure, and sometimes they will be well known. Okay, I'm trying to think if there are any other boys I would cosplay. I feel like it would be boys from the Suicoden series. Let me think. I mean, I would have the most chance of like believably cosplaying like a pretty boy or like an androgynous kind of boy. I don't know if anybody has suggestions that aren't just Link, uh, feel free to share them. Although, you know, I want to cosplay all of the Links. Would I wear an original costume? Oh, Sunder. Hey, Sunder. Sunder's asking, would I wear an original costume slash character to a con or event? Yeah, I would, and I have before, I just don't do it that often anymore. Um, but I thought about making more of my own like original fashion, not necessarily always really costumey, but like just doing more clothing items and stuff. And I would definitely wear that to conventions, um, especially like on a Sunday or something when it's the weekend is winding down and um, you know, you wanna go to the dealer's hall and not mess with being in cosplay all day. That sort of stuff, I would definitely wear. Oh no, the kids haven't seen Cowboy Bebop? Ugh, oh, somebody needs to educate them. Tell your wife. Well, I guess that one's probably not school appropriate. <laughs> tell, she should tell them to go home and watch it in their own time. Any Final Fantasy male character? That's true. There are a lot of pretty boys in Final Fantasy that I could potentially try to pass myself off as. Jackie says that they've done several gender bent cosplays, but really want to do Sora cosplay from Kingdom Hearts. That's a good one. I should cosplay Tuxedo Mask and Jerry can cosplay as Mercury. Yeah, they're not really pairing, but I don't know who, uh, I don't know who Jared, which, no, I know. Jared ships Sailor Mercury with himself. <laughs> hey, Cowboy Bebop is great for kids. You know, what are you talking about? It's, you know, getting educated in a lot of other, uh, real world topics like sex and drugs and killing each other. All right, let me sew these sleeves. We're getting really close to having most of a dress. Speaking of Final Fantasy. Oh, Kefka. I would cosplay as Kefka. Boom, done. He's super androgynous too. Now, one of my best friends cosplays as Kefka, so again, I could also cosplay Kefka, yes, but I'd rather cosplay a character with him, and so, yeah, I want to be Terra or Celeste or somebody. Zelda Master's heading out. Thanks for coming and hanging out with us. See you next time. I could do Edward Elric. Is that is Ed Elric? Yeah, I could probably pal. Uh, pull him off. Can I do the Kefka laugh? No. I'll practice it. I'll practice the Kefka laugh. Shiro Shift is making ramen? That sounds delicious. Oh, 
Oh, I would also cosplay as Kuja from Final Fantasy IX, although that's a really revealing outfit for a dude. Um, yeah, all of the male characters that I really love, that I would be excited enough to cosplay, actually happen to be really androgynous. Hmm, I wonder what that says about me. JK, I know what it says about me. Bouncy Creeper just said that they had one of the most confusing experiences of their life and just like forgot how to talk and write. It's just like my brain lagged or had to do a system restart. That's, that's odd. I hope that you're okay. And I hope that you weren't experiencing some sort of medical issue. Uh, you might want to talk to a doctor about that, but I hope that you're doing okay now, man. Sounds like you're all right now at this point. But yeah, that's, that's a little concerning. I'm almost done with these sleeve seams. Then we just have to ease all of it together, which is gonna be annoying. <laughs> Sunder says that you just looked up Kruja. That's one hell of a cod piece. That is correct. <laughs> Howl is a pretty guy. That's, you know, that's another good answer. Howl is a pretty guy. Maybe you're having just like some weird, maybe you need to do some stretches, you know, I think that's good for most things. Get up, do a little bit of yoga, you know, get some blood flowing again, you'll probably be okay. I hope so anyway. That's not real medical advice, but I think that's something that most people should do most of the time, or periodically at least. remind myself when I'm getting into like really long creative sessions where I'm just sewing a lot. Oh my gosh, I just realized I'm almost at the end of my thread. Um, is I need to take some time to remember to just like stand up and stretch and get the blood flowing a little bit. Divine is heading off to sleep. Good night. Thank you for joining us. Have a good rest of your evening. Tiny Bear wants to cosplay as Kiki. That's a cute outfit. Okay, I'm gonna grab another spool of thread because this is like almost out. mock-up so it doesn't matter what color I use and so I'm I have like five or six rolls of like this light pink thread and I have no idea why so I try to use them up when I get a chance whale facts supplied for an apartment that's exciting good luck whale facts I hope you get the apartment that you want fill it with whales yeah whale facts fill it with whales you love whales, right? Whale apartment. Alright, so this is the lower sleeve that's like... Here. These are very, quite flowy. I think these are a lot longer than the sleeves that Arwen actually has. Um, but it's a good starting point for figuring out that. <laughs> the Kuja thing reminds me of the revealing Final Fantasy XV boys outfits. Hey Syncrophy, welcome. Okay. Flip this back in. Like live whales or is whale art enough? That's whale facts. 
I think you need live whales in your apartment. If you really love whales as much as you say you do, I think you should prove it by getting a live one. <laughs> Uh, Alatonius is asking, is this muslin? Yes. This is a mock-up that I'm working on, so this isn't the final real dress, but I'm just checking my pattern and gonna make some alterations to it and stuff, so. We are using cheap muslin fabric in order to uh, create that mock-up. Bob Samurai, thank you for resubscribing for 10 months. Appreciate that. Huh, Bounty Creeper, yeah. Water and sleep, usually also really, really good combination. That I think recommended for most humans on a regular basis. All humans, all humans. <laughs> so much easing in these sleeves, I hate it. I hate it. I should have sewn them together in a different combination, but whatever. I'm just following these stupid directions. Sure these pieces will line up. Oh, and they do. Good. Hey, Link fan, just gifted a sub to Dragsaw. Thank you. Syncrophy is like Fanime is a little over a month away. Oh crap, that reminds me. I've got to get this done for Fanime too. So both of us uh, will have to work hard, but I believe in us. Now is this the correct orientation? This is just pinned together. Back up a little bit where you can see it. I think it needs to be turned. I think I didn't line things up properly. So it's good that I didn't sew it yet. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Good luck, Syncrophy. I believe in us both. I think we're gonna we're gonna get it done. <laughs> Link fan knows he's crazy. Crazy in a wonderful way, Link fan. Okay. Let's see what instructions have to say. Ah, yeah. So it's like almost, it's like completely turned around. So the seams need to be on opposite sides from each other, not the same side. So yeah, these two pieces need to be repinned um, with the seam um, on, on opposite sides. That might not make sense, but I promise you, it makes sense to me. That's enough, right? Just flipping it around 180 degrees and reattaching it so the seams are on opposite sides. Hey, Pro Jared gifted a sub to Dry Erase Girl. That's kind of you. Ah, there it goes. <laughs> Sometimes I do that where my hand will slip while I'm trying to clip something, and then that clip just like flings off across the, the room, and I'm like, well. Never gonna find that one again. Goodbye forever. Oh no, it's over here. Oh, oh I found it. <laughs> huh. 
If I didn't pin the clip, that's right. If I had pinned it a clip, then I wouldn't be suffering with this. Uh, Alatonius says that there's a lot of the attention to detail that I put in. Sad to hear about the damage the flood did to everything, but I'm glad, happy to, that I'm able to work on my projects again. Well, thank you very much. Um, and that is pretty much entirely due to people in this streaming community that have helped me get back on my feet after the flood. So the, all the credit goes to people who are watching here today and who have contributed to me being able to do this again, both by actual donations towards the um, equipment that I replaced as well as just being here and gifting me with your presence. So thank you guys so much for um, coming and joining my streams and just hanging out together. <laughs> Bouncy Creeper is gonna go get some sleep. That sounds good. I hope that you um, can be rehydrated and well rested soon. Drag saw, I love this chat too. It's a good community here. A bunch of good eggs. Check this out again. So now, arm goes in here. Yeah, that's much better. So the drapey part is closest to the body. Yeah, that is the correct shape. Now, it still needs to be adjusted quite a bit to look like Arwen in the movie, but this is correct to the pattern that I'm using. So I'm just gonna assemble everything and then go about making changes to make it more accurate. Uh, Linkfan's asking if I know any streamers on Twitch that draw. Not a lot, or not a lot that draw like consistently. Um, if anybody else here in the chat has good recommendations for that, feel free to suggest them. But I don't, I need to spend more time watching people on chat, on Twitch, honestly. I do a lot of lurking. Um, if I am watching my friend's stream, and it's, I mostly follow other cosplayers, although I also like photographers and that kind of stuff. Okay, so people have a couple recommendations here in the chat for you. Let me pin my other sleeve here. Oh, um, Sugan Knight, if you need to do a link, I. Oh my gosh, Nightbot just threatened to kill you. I'm so sorry. Uh, I can permit you to submit a link if you would perf if you want to do that. Uh, but yeah, it has to be uh, it has to be manually approved. So sorry about that. Just let me know if you want to post a link, and I can do that. There's more uh, streamer suggestions in here. Jim Lee streams? I did not know that. I have cosplayed his Jean Grey design, the comic artist. It's pretty cool. Alatonius, thanks for stopping by and hanging out with us tonight. See you next time. almost done putting all the major pieces together. That will be quite an accomplishment. So I've been streaming for like two hours-ish. 
Um, I do think I will be able to put the sleeves on as long as I do it right. If I mess this up in front of you guys, then I'm sure gonna have egg on my face. Um, but I think that I'm gonna meet my stream goal tonight of having all of the main parts of the dress together. It won't be like 100% finished, but I'll have the dress panels and the sleeves all assembled, which is a really good start. soon bouncy creeper I know you're dealing with sickness so hopefully you can feel back up to full energy soon okay that is the second sleeve pinned slash clipped actually clipped uh, I should be ready to Stitch these bad boys together. Now I'm gonna run out of thread in a minute, but I'm just gonna stitch it and let it run out of thread. I'm just gonna stitch till the thread is gone and then I'll reload it. Um, it's the top thread, so that's gonna be easy to do. But I wanna make sure that I use up all of the usable thread. most time consuming. I mean, it's not literally, but it's the part that I drag my feet with the most is making the mock-ups. Um, Cause it seems like it takes forever to get it exactly how you want it. And then when you're done, it's really fast to make the final thing, which is the point of the mock-up to begin with. Um, but it's just like, oh, do I really have to stitch this again? And sometimes you do, it's just the best way to do it. Photography. It was nice seeing you here in the chat. Thanks for stopping by and I hope to see more of your photo editing streams whenever I get a chance. Yeah, you guys should follow Vontography if you're interested in cosplay photography. He's done photos with me a couple different times at KatsuCon. I posted a Samus photo just like yesterday or two days ago, I think. Um, it was by Vontography and he's really excellent. So if you're interested in photography, definitely give him a follow on Twitch. Yeah, Syncrophy says, mock-up and prototypes are essential even if it does mean doing most of the work twice. That's very much true. Like, even though I'm like dragging my feet and like, oh, I hate making mock-ups. Realistically, I, al I will always still make a mock-up because um, it's always still worth it. Yeah, it, makes, it makes the end product so much better. Sometimes the end product wouldn't even be usable without mock-ups or you'd end up having to sew the whole thing twice except You'd be using your, your final fabric that is generally more expensive than this cheap cotton that I use for the mock-up. Tiny Bear is asking, would I mind or want to see if, the, if she drew me? Hell yeah, I want to see it. I don't mind at all. Go ahead. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, I love um, seeing people do art. I love it when people draw me. I mean, yeah, it's, it's nice and flattering. Here's a sleeve, a fantasy sleeve. One more, 
one more to go, and then if we can attach them, then that's like my official goal for the night, is getting this sewn and then attached. Will Fax staying up late to what? To talk to their boyfriend, is that it? Or husband, somebody? Well, I hope that goes well. Ow. I just, I just put my finger in the way of my needle and pricked myself. It didn't draw blood, it was super minor, but that was my own fault. <laughs> Measure twice and cut the expensive fabric once. That's a good motto. Yes. That's what mocks are for, mock ups are for. So that I can put this together, determine exactly what I want from my final piece, and then just make it correctly the first time. <laughs> Goal tech. Don't forget my chest hair. You're drawing. Oh, this is that Wii U song. Or one of several, I think. Don't stab myself, I'll try. Husbando, Wellfax, well, congratulations. I hope that you get some quality time to chat. It's tough when your your person is far away. Shop. the switch kind of is like the full the fully realized idea of what like the Wii U wanted to be where it was like an on-the-go kind of thing but the switch is what it needed to be because the Wii U was not quite ready to like fully uh, realize the, like that concept at the time I guess two sleeves and now I just have to set them into my costume. My back hurts. I'll do my stretches too. Okay. Mr. Whale. I think I'm gonna run downstairs and grab some more water because I'm out of my other beverage. And I'm, I've been streaming for about two hours, so I think it's time. I'm gonna take a quick couple minute break just to grab some more water and then I'll be right back to sew these sleeves on and that will be that. So yeah, give me give me just a minute. You guys can, I don't know, hang out, entertain yourself. Tell me, tell me something interesting to come back to. <laughs>
have returned. What did I miss? <laughs> Crystal Fear dancing in the chat. Shouldn't put my water there. <laughs> it's gonna make my camera readjust itself. Okay. Now I need to get my dress. That's what I'm missing. <laughs> two more seams to sew tonight anyway, which is pretty exciting. is up for these clips. I think that's correct. Yes. Link fan has another question for the chat for conversation. He's asking, what was the first game that you've ever played? That I ever played? That anybody ever played? Um, I have my answer ready. It was Super Mario 64. Um, I didn't have, that was, I didn't own any video game consoles before then, um, the N64 was my first one. Uh, my dad bought it for my sister and I. And at the time, we had never been into video games, so we were just kind of like, why? And then we played it and became completely addicted to it. So I remember playing Super Mario 64 and all of the Mario Party games, one through three, that were on N64. We had all of those, uh, and that was my like gateway. And then I never actually owned Ocarina of Time as a child, but my friend did, and I was in love with it. This got misaligned. I'm gonna trim off a little bit of my weird seam allowance here because YOLO. lot of Nintendo in the in the answers here. Ooh, Pong? Mad Crouton. In with the classics. That's pretty cool. Pitfall. That's another old, really old one. <laughs> you now feel old. Nah, man, that's cool. That's, that's good. We've got people of all ages here, I believe. Chocobo Racing? That's a good game. Thinking back to like the classic, not like, 
I mean, they're they're computer games, but like uh, Minesweeper and Ships Challenge and things that were like the what was that like Windows ninety five or something like kind of standard pack. I don't know if, if it was that version or something else, but um, yeah, it's taking me back. Yeah, video games have come really far, even in a relatively short amount of time. And this is not fit exactly into the spot, which is fine. It happens sometimes. This is a turn job. I'm gonna try clipping the interior and see if that makes it fit any better. Uh, Dragon Kitty Warrior is asking, do you or Jared work besides YouTube and Twitch? No, we both do this full time. Um, so yeah, uh, Jared is, um, well, his whole career is just like his online presence. And for me, it's more like just kind of supporting the art. But yeah, thank you guys for being here and supporting me. I wouldn't be, I literally would not be able to do this without support from you guys. So thank you to everybody who shows up. Did you ever play the one where a gorilla threw bananas at buildings? It was one of those games that came with Windows. I don't think I did. I don't know what one you're talking about, actually. I remember Pipe Dream, Jazz Ball. Is that what, is that, what that was called? Uh, yeah. Magnavox Odyssey. I think we have one. I'm pretty sure I found one in a thrift store a couple of years ago. We've never played it. Never. That's pretty cool. Yeah, we have a lot of retro consoles that we didn't necessarily grow up with, but that we just collected over the years. Largo, I also played Amazon Trail. And it wasn't just a knockoff, I, it was made by the same company. It was like a sequel. Or they were trying to capitalize on what they had already done with Oregon Trail. And they made Amazon Trail, and it was uh, much later, and so they had better graphics and more interesting gameplay and stuff. Um, but yes, I played the crap out of some Amazon Trail. That was a good game. Oh, I played a lot of learning company games like uh, Math Mountain, uh, Treasure Mountain, um, uh, Spelling Spelling Blizzard, Spelling Jungle. I don't know if those are all the correct names, but that's what I remember. Gizmos and Gadgets. Uh, my dad was really big into buying us educational games. Treasure Math Storm, that's what. There's Treasure Math Storm and Tre Treasure Mountain, but Treasure Mountain and Treasure Cove. And there were, I think might have been others, but there was like a series. Um, yeah, I was super, my dad was super into buying us educational games specifically. So we had a number of games that were like teaching you basic math, teaching you logic, problem solving, spelling, all of that. <laughs> Sunder, oh my god, Treasure Master, holy shit. Yeah, I played the shit out of those games. I want to see someone do a retrospective on like that whole series, because I was super into those. Uh, and there was like an evil Dr. Monty or something. It was like, uh, like always trying to thwart you. The Super Solver. Yeah, the Super Solver series. That's what I was thinking of. Where I just played like all of them. Because my dad would just get every new game that came out. It was just like, Here's, here you go. I didn't play any like popular games. I, we had Mario pretty much, that was pretty much only that. Um, but I, otherwise we didn't keep up with like popular games, it was all just educational games.
like some of those were probably pretty popular, but they were still like learning games. Do I watch Pushing Up Roses? Uh, we're friends, but I, I don't like religiously watch any YouTube. I pretty much watch Jared, and I don't even watch all of Jared. I just watch like his main videos, his main channel. But yeah, uh, I know of Push Pushing Up Roses. She's great. Did she do a video on that stuff? <laughs> Scribbling in MS Paint. I did a lot of that too. I was an artistic kid. Surprise. I like to make things. Alright, this is starting to fit because I clipped it first. See, there's your trick. If it doesn't fit. Try clipping it first and then pin again. Hey, Wondering Whales, thank you for the subscription. We've got two whale fans here in the chat, Whale Facts. <laughs> and now Wondering Whales. Perhaps the two of you can bond over your love of large aquatic mammals. She hasn't, but I know she has a lot of old game reviews. That's true. I know she's really into like DOS games and stuff. I wonder if she would do those game reviews. I don't know. I feel like most YouTubers already have like their own infinite backlog of, of videos that they want to make. Uh, I feel that way about cosplay. I know Jared feels that way about videos, so I try not to make too many requests of people who are, you know, clearly like uh, busy with their own plans, I guess. Why are there so many whales? Well, we love whales here, so it's, it's fine. harder to use on this other side, but we're gonna do it, by golly. I'm gonna put these sleeves in. If it kills us. It won't, it won't kill us, I hope. Yeah, <laughs> that's an amazing collection of emotes there. You've covered some retro titles, Link fan? Well, you should take a crack at my childhood faves, if you want. <laughs> a Dwarf Fortress cosplay? That would be interesting. Oh, remember Ski Free? Another, like, Windows game where you would just, like, ski down the mountain and then after a certain point, no matter what, you would always get eaten by the abominable snowman. There's, like, a Yeti or something. And there's just, it was impossible to escape him. Like, he just, he just shows up and insta kills you after a certain point. Like, you just can't play for longer than whatever point he runs out and eats you. And he just, like, chomps you and just, like, completely devours you. And then, like, if I recall, he, like, jumps up and down, like, he's really happy about it <laughs> or something. That was good shit. So much cosplay that. The Ski Free Yeti terrified you as a child. Mellow Ninja, thank you for joining us. Um, go get your your sleep and enjoy your evening. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. <laughs> the Yeti in Ski Free was Nightmare Incarnate. Someone should cosplay that. I should cosplay that. I'll be a Yeti. No, I never played Snowboard Kids. I'm not sure. Is that Was that a good one? Largo? All right, we've got one sleeve pinned on. There it is. Let's hope for the best. I'm gonna stitch this together and then we're one sleeve down, one to go, almost. <laughs> the Yeti is a metaphor for life. You're gonna get eaten eventually, no matter how hard you try, you'll die. Thanks. 
I mean, it's not wrong. <laughs> Sorry that my fabric is just completely hiding the machine now, I'm sure. You guys know what's up. You know how this works. Next cosplay, make a Yeti costume. Chomp chomp. I need to look up what he looks like again, but I'm pretty sure he has like stick arms or something like that. ready let me know or let me know whenever you do have a link ready and I will permit the posting of said link. He does have stick limbs yeah I feel like that would be really hard to cosplay unless you're like carrying around a cardboard cutout or something because it's not even three-dimensional the game is like 2D graphics, so you don't know what he, like he doesn't have sides and a back, he just has the front, I believe. Like a little spray. Okay, the Yeti is beautiful stick arm boy. Okay, Anna, let me permit. There you go. So this is a link to Dick arm boy. Oh yeah. I've always thought the ski free monster as a metaphor for the inevitability of death. Oh no, you can press F to go faster than the monster and escape. I didn't know that. Is that real? Holy crap, my mind has been blown. My my uh, mind has been expanded. I have never ever heard of that. I feel a little bit cheated by all of the skiers that were eaten over the years by that monster. <laughs> That's really funny. Is this real? Everyone in the chat is like, what? Huh? Is this real? no idea. I feel like if published in a popular comic, then most likely it's correct. Well, uh, I have not tested that. We all get chomped in the end. Yes, it's real. Oh my gosh, I feel so cheated. So many of my skiers for so many years. Young, impressionable Heidi. <laughs> Nobody taught me to press the F button. That's really funny. Gotta go fast. Press F to pay respects. Indeed. Indeed. All 
right, we've got one sleeve in. Let's check it out, make sure it's good. Husky for giving me an existential crisis, says Dragsaw. Same. You know what, I can turn my camera more toward me now that I'm not, you guys can sort of see me stitching. That's good, and that way there's a little bit more light. I've got one of these like ling ring lights that you can see on my hand. The camera itself has the light attached to it, so that's why having it pointed more at me will make me less in shadow. I mean, hell yeah. It still needs to have the collar attached. And it's obviously not closed up in the front or anything yet. But there is one sleeve attached to the dress. All right, one more. One down, one to go. And then that will be the end of the stream, which will probably take me the next 30 minutes if it takes me as long as that one did. So we'll keep it going for now. If you cosplay the Yeti, you don't need to make sleeves. That is correct, Agent Eliza. You are 100% right. That's a good way to think of it. Yeah, he doesn't have sleeves. He doesn't even have arms. He little stick arms. Oh, it's so awkward to cut because it's like slipping out of place. I'm just trimming off the weird seam allowance that's not connecting in the right spot. I think I got a little too much, but that's okay. That looks good, thank you guys. Thank you guys, I'm glad that you think so. It's just a mock-up, it's uh, showing the general shape and size of the dress that I'm gonna end up making. Um, and as I was saying before, there's a lot of changes that it needs, uh, just as far as like, the shape of the hem, the shape of the sleeves, a lot of like small adjustments, making sure that the collar is sitting correctly, which is not even on yet. But that's kind of just stuff that I'm gonna have to figure out on this mock-up and then um, hopefully we'll see how far I can get. I need to buy my final fabric, which I, I ordered it like three or four different swatches from different um, online stores of like samples for fabric. Yeah, I think this is Final Fantasy VII music now. Um, it's that Aerith song. Uh, or Lifestream, maybe I'm wrong. Um, I'm getting distracted. I still need to buy my final fabric. Even though I ordered a bunch of samples, I wasn't happy with any of them. They weren't quite the right color. So I'm gonna try to go to another store in person tomorrow. And if I find fabric that I like, then I might just buy that in person tomorrow and then be ready to start sewing. So I guess it depends on how much work this mock-up needs, um, whether I'll be ready to start sewing on Saturday or maybe next Wednesday, I don't know. But I want it to happen soon. Um, I have a lot of stitching to do and there's like a little bit of hand embroidery that I'm gonna do on the collar. So I'll be doing at least some of that on stream. And now that I have a decent setup for sewing on stream, or better than before, for sure, uh, hopefully you guys can see what I'm up to and actually watch things get stitched together. Which, I've basically run out of thread. It's no longer attached up here because it's empty. Oh, Tom Denda, thank you for the 500 bits. Appreciate that. Aerith got chomped. Aerith did get chomped. I'm cosplaying Aerith again soon. Uh, Dire Desire, yes, I am in Bothell. Bothell is the, technically the suburb I live in. I have been to Seattle Fabrics. Um, I believe that's the place that only sells like utility fabrics, if I'm not mistaken. But they didn't have, um, they didn't have like fashion fabrics. There are there are a couple other stores around here that I really like, um, but I know that utility. Uh, I did get some stuff for Zelda from Seattle Fabrics that was like um, insulation to make the the um, 
make the uh, coat warmer. That's what I'm trying to say. So it was like an extra layer of fabric that was on the inside just to make everything nice and weather protected. Um, so I got that stuff from Seattle Fabrics, but when I was there, I noticed that they didn't really have a lot of like fashion stuff. Um, so I'm gonna go check out Pacific Fabrics for this because they often have the type of thing that I'm looking for. Yeah, they do have nice nylon and canvas and stuff. Um, I also got my mock-up fabric from there. I think they would probably have useful stuff for like making um, backdrops and things for photography because they sell like larger cuts of canvas and things like that. Okay, second sleeve ready to go on. If you're looking for something specific, you go there instead. Thank you for the pun. Oh, Breath of Fire 4 is one of my favorite games ever. I bought fabric to cosplay Nina from that game, but then I ended up using it for something else. So I don't know if I'm ever gonna actually cosplay her, but I would love to. Um, and Breath of Fire 4 is like one of my top favorite games. This one will be faster now that I know what I'm doing, and I know that it will fit now that I've clipped it. If I cut it to match the other side, of course. Yeah, I was a really big PlayStation 1 collector um, some years ago when I was working at the game store. Before I got into cosplay, I was really into um, PlayStation 1 games specifically. So a lot of my like classic costumes, obscure costumes that I want to do, a lot of them are from uh, PlayStation 1 games, because that is my jam. Saviel is heading out. Well, thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, nice to have you in the chat. See you later. <laughs> hey, Agent Eliza, don't 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 totally fan to leave us. We like having him here. But yes, I also say you should finish Final Fantasy VII if you have a chance. Dang it, well, this one doesn't want to fit either. Maybe I just need to... Pull it a little more. I'm getting scatterbrained. It's gonna be the end of the night. Hello, Lucky Lepton. Welcome. Welcome to our stream. We are sewing for an Arwen cosplay. adjusted this very slightly. So hopefully that will help the fit. I 
Man, I ate dinner right before the stream started, and I've been working so hard, and now I'm hungry again. Uh, hard at work. Any, uh, speaking of Final Fantasy VII, any thoughts about the remake? I wish it would come out. Um, I'm trying not to get too involved in my expectations for it. It's been so long since I've played the original game at this point that I feel like I can re enjoy a remake even if it's not identical. Like, I'm prepared to just enjoy it for what it is and not expect it to be what it needed, what I think it needs to be or whatever. So in that regard, I feel pretty good about it that I would enjoy whatever they come up with as long as, long as it's not, as long as it doesn't suck. Like, just they just need to make it not suck. Because they want to change things, it's fine. Just don't make it suck. Claws got muscles, that's what I'm into. <laughs> oh, Anna, am I keeping you up at night? I've been live for two hours and 42 minutes at this point. Um, not bad, not bad. And this did end up fitting perfectly at the end. I just needed to be willing to slide it over a tiny bit. So we're ready to stitch this, and this is going to be my last, um, my last seam. So we're almost there. We're almost at our stream goal for tonight. And we passed our 100 subs, and we collected a little bit of money for the flower wall. So overall, tonight has been super productive. I'm really excited about finishing that flower wall, too. I'm going to go get some more supplies tomorrow. So if anybody wants to throw in some last minute contributions for my flowers. I have a bunch of stuff on the wish list. So thank you guys for helping me bring that together. That one's for Aerith. So speaking of Final Fantasy VII, got my Aerith shoot in the works for all of these flowers. Um, I made that costume a couple years ago, but I don't have tons and tons of uh, photos of it. So I'm hoping that this I'm building the flower wall for several costumes, but I think that um, I'm trying to take the opportunity to get some really nice, nice Aerith photos. I can't pronounce her name for some reason. Um, and make that happen. After this, I'm gonna get myself a snack. Isak is here, and Army V Gaming have both just tuned in. We are getting close to the end of the stream, so this is my last scene that I'm sewing, but I'm glad that you were both able to make it here and join us. Oh, thank you, Angel Eliza. <laughs> Oh, Link fan, you're already super generous. You've already donated so much, but thank you. Thank you for your support. This is another Final Fantasy VII song, yeah? This is the... Am I, am I right? This is the Cosmo Canyon remake. There's like multiple versions of this song on this stream. It's good shit. I love this. Army, Amy V, I'm sorry, I, spelled, I said your name wrong. I said Army, but you're Amy. Amy V Gaming, thank you very much. I, thanks, I'm glad you like my cosplay. I like cosplay too. Yeah, it's like I'm glad that you were able to touch it as well. Or Isaac, I don't know if that's your name or if it's how it's pronounced. You can correct me and I'll try to remember. Hey, Captain uh, Saroha, thank you for cheering. 1,000 bits, awesome, thank you. Yeah, boy. <laughs> thank you, thank you.
Poggers. It's pronounced like Isaac. Okay, I will remember that then. Sunder is heading out. Thanks for hanging out, Sunder. We will see you next time. Have a good rest of your evening. And I'm almost done with this seam, so you made it almost till the very end. cosplays is a good question. This song is from his like hometown area or whatever. Well thank you Anna. I appreciate the subs and I appreciate the company so that's what what really counts in the end. So thank you so much. Alright guys I got all of this stitched together. We made it to our stream goal of having all of the main parts of this dress assembled. So that's really exciting. Dang, this whole streaming playlist is just like been all about the Final Fantasy VII. Here's another Final Fantasy song with the Turks theme. Um, so that's pretty awesome. It's like this, the playlist knows then I'm going to cosplay Arwen, or not Arwen, but Aerith really soon. Both of those characters, actually. Alright, so this is the very front of um, uh, the dress. It still needs the collar, which is a separate piece that I haven't attached yet, but I've still met my stream goal, and so I'm happy with that. Now, some changes I'm going to make are just fit adjustments in general, make sure that it's um, you know, not baggy, get rid of a lot of the wrinkles if I can. I need to change the shape of the sleeves a little bit, um, because this isn't quite accurate, and then also change the shape of the, the bottom of the dress. It's supposed to be more like, uh, shaped like a leaf or a petal where it kind of creates a curve. So those are all changes that are going to have to happen to make this into a more authentic Arwen costume, but at this point it resembles the general shape, and so it's off to a really good start, I think. <laughs> Tian SG says, the current song sounds like the part in an 80s action movie where the hero is walking into the CD bar to find information. That's exactly the, like, atmosphere of when it's being used, because it's for the Turks who are, like, secret agents that are all wearing sunglasses, and they, like, work for the bad guys. Um, but they're actually cool characters. Well, thank you all for joining me. I'm really tired, so I'm gonna go and do other things now. But thank you guys for watching and hanging out and chatting with me and keeping me company, because I definitely would not have gotten this much done on my own if I were being lazy with my own time, so. All right, uh, my next stream is gonna be on Saturday, and um, I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna be working on. Maybe more sewing, maybe Maybe um, the wig or something. We'll see. But thanks for hanging out. I will see you guys next time. Bye.